Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudabuyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 15W39B of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC Edition. Uh, and this video is a little bit of an update into my investigation about item elevators. Uh, I've been doing a lot of experimenting. It turns out that uh, the simple door pressure plate combo uh, that I had featured in previous videos still works. Um, I had expected that to uh, uh, go away by this snapshot, but it's it's still there. Um, it, it should be going away in a future a future snapshot. Uh, and so I've been experimenting a little bit with east-west orientations of these item elevators. It's only the that simple pressure plate uh, door combo only worked for north-south orientations. Uh, so I've been experimenting with this uh, in east-western east-west orientations, um, uh, hoping that uh, those mechanics are going to be preserved in the um, in the next release. Uh, and so here I'm, uh, I'm actually using a fence gate, but you can use a door uh, or a trap door. Um, the key here is that items that come uh, onto this block, come to rest on this block, and we want to send them up the core of this uh, glass tower here, um, they will go up uh, on with uh, two conditions. The first is that they are surrounded by uh, cube solids uh, on all four directions here. Um, uh, and also, uh, they need to intersect the collision box of uh, the block that they're in, uh, and that intersection needs to happen either instantaneously or, or from the top. So uh, instantaneously means that when an item comes to rest here, uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see that in action. So. Uh, I'm going to uh, send an item down and uh, we can see where it lands. All right, you can see that the item is basically right there, um, uh, right in the middle of that fence gate. So, um, and that's because I've got a customized water stream for the, uh, maintaining a particular speed for items as they come in. Uh, but that item comes to rest right in the middle of that fence gate, so when the fence gate closes, uh, its collision box will intersect the item, and that will push the item up. Uh, but only if this block over here is closed, uh, if there's something right here, uh, so that uh, cube solid surrounds the block where that item is on all sides. And that's why I've got that piston piston there, um, so th this uh, even the door pressure plate combo and east-western orientations can be fixed. Uh, with this little setup, uh, I've got a pressure plate uh, with an ATIC delay uh, to allow items to come uh, to come to rest here before things uh, go in action, uh, and um, I've just got uh, a piston uh, wired up and uh, the fence gate wired up to the same signal. Now, uh, one thing that I haven't uh, been able to uh, get to go wrong yet, I've been I guess I've been trying to get it to go wrong. Uh, is this piston takes 1.5 redstone ticks to extend, uh, but the fence gate closes instantaneously, um, at least uh, according, <laughs> that's the information according to the wiki. Uh, now the fence gate is wired up to an inverted signal, so uh, when the signal loses power, it should close, um, and it will lose power one tick after the piston begins to extend which technically means that the piston will only be two-thirds extended at the time that the fence gate closes. Uh, but that still seems to work, doesn't really cause any problems. Um, let me go ahead and, and grab that item here and we can see it in action. Okay, so the piston closes the opening at the same time the fence gate closes and that is what sends the item up. Um, like I said, this works for fence gates, trapdoors, doors. Um, it also works for um, downward pushing pistons, and I'll give kind of an extreme example of that in an upcoming video. Uh, but uh, I'm hoping that this mechanic is going to stay because it's relatively easy to wire this up. It just requires a single piston and a, a little bit of uh, very simple redstone, uh, and that hopefully will allow these item elevators to continue to work as intended. Uh, now, um, anytime you're dealing with this sort of mechanic, uh, where you've got uh, a switchable collision box here, 
uh, it is going to require that the items be batched in the stream because you don't want um, a, ba a group of items being sent up here uh, at the same time another group comes uh, across the pressure plate uh, perhaps uh, uh, bumping into the fence gate and thus not uh, colliding with it on, the next, on its next close. Uh, so items are st are still going to have to be batched in the stream, which I, I think is the more interesting problem at this point. Uh, there are a variety of different ways of doing that. Um, in uh, in an upcoming video, I'll I'll demonstrate one way to do that. Uh, but um, I, I have heard some concerns about batching items in high volume streams and collecting them up the top. Uh, I, I don't think that's really going to be too much of a problem. Uh, and uh, you can collect those kind of batch items by just simply running the items into a water stream and uh, running them across a line of a, a line of hoppers rather than a single hopper, uh, and that water stream can just be a looping water stream so that they're continuously going over those hoppers until they all get picked up. Um, uh, you can see a good example of um, of this sort of multi hopper setup in um, I think it's. Uh, um, the OP Guardian farm that's presented by Doc M. Uh, there's a there's a nice uh, example of that. So not too much of a problem to pick up batch items uh, when they get to the top. Uh, I think the more interesting uh, question is how to efficiently batch items here. There are a number of different ways to do that. Um, and some of it has to. Uh, some of it depends on what items are actually in your stream. If you have only a single kind of item, uh, then it's um, uh, then there are some different techniques available for that. Um, uh, but uh, doing that in a redstone low way uh, is, um, uh, I think, is interesting. Uh, there, are, there are some easier ways to do that <laughs> with very, very little redstone, if any, uh, although some of them um, uh, some of them can cause a little bit of loss in the item stream, so uh, maybe I'll uh, feature some different ways to uh, to batch items uh, incoming in the water stream. But uh, I, I'm hoping this mechanic here will will be here to stay uh, because, like I said, it does uh, it does allow these item elevators to be fixed with very very little redstone. Um, and um, I think that is it for my um, <laughs> for my investigation so far. Like I said, I'll feature kind of an extreme example of this uh, in an upcoming video just for fun. Um, but if you have any uh, questions or, or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments. And uh, and thanks for watching.